Hello YouTube, this is the Florida Rider. As you can probably guess, I'm heading to the beach to watch the sunset. It never gets old. I'm sort of having one of those days where my bike just won't let me get off. I had to go into Tampa for something earlier today and been on the bike for probably about four hours now and just decided that, hey, it's almost sunset time and despite the clouds that will probably block sunset out, I'm still going to watch it. Or perhaps not. At least I left myself plenty of time to get there today. They might be heading in the wrong direction. Well, today's topic is going to be very simple. Why did you start writing? My story is quite simple, actually. There's no long story about how I started. I was living in Southern California at the time and I couldn't stand being in a car. I couldn't afford a convertible and the only other option was a motorcycle so I went to a motorcycle dealership and found out how cheap bikes were this was a long time ago by the way this is 1984 and from there they directed me to the motorcycle safety foundation and I took the course bought my bike and I've been riding ever since Motorcycling has always been a hobby to me. It's never been a chore. It's not, oh God, I have to get on the bike again. It's always been, awesome, when do we get to ride again? And even shortly after I learned to ride, it became one of my biggest hobbies. We would go ride canyons and go to the beach and go goof around. So how did you get into motorcycling? Perhaps you started on dirt bikes, which I know a lot of you did. Perhaps your parents are motorcyclists. Or perhaps you're like me, and you don't come from a riding family at all. And how long did it take you from actually deciding that you wanted to ride to making that come true? I think my timeline was probably about a month or so. This is the Florida Rider signing off. Goodbye.